Russian siblings. Tanya and Ivan are siblings. They live in St. Petersburg. They come from a middle class family. But Tanya married into money. Her husband, Igor, is a multimillionaire. Tanya and Ivan used to be friends. They used to talk to each other. But now they aren't friends. They don't talk to each other. They have a problem. The problem is money. One day, Ivan had an idea. He wanted to start a car rental business in his home city. But he didn't know what kind of cars to start with. So he asked Andrea, a Hungarian friend, for advice. She said he should start with German cars. Next, Ivan asked another Hungarian friend, Janos, for advice. Janos said he should start with all kinds of luxury cars, not just German. Ivan also asked a third Hungarian friend called Dora for advice. Dora, however, didn't know much about cars. She offered to draw the layout of a pair of new railway tracks from Budapest to St. Petersburg instead. Ivan thanked her for her kindness but said that he was not interested in railways. Having picked his friend's brains, Ivan decided to start with a fleet of a dozen luxury cars. But he didn't have any money, so he turned to his sister for help. I don't know anything about cars, Tanya said. But if Igor agrees, I'll lend you the money you need. The only thing Tanya asked Ivan for was a business plan. And while he went to get it, she told her husband about Ivan's request. One million dollars? Igor laughed. Small cash. Of course it's okay to lend it to him. The loan agreement was written up by a lawyer and signed by the siblings. Tanya didn't charge any interest. Ivan borrowed the money from his sister, bought the cars from abroad, started the car rental business and went bankrupt in a year. Tanya doesn't think he will ever pay off the loan and hasn't spoken.